I'm Mary Marinville, and I am in the heart of Ventura County in Oxnard, California. And I'm standing here with Steve Gill of Gill's Onions. He is my Farmer of the Month, my Sustainable Farmer of the Month. And um, we're here to ask him a few questions. Steve, you have a rich local heritage in Ventura County that started with a piece of land in Camarillo. Can you tell us about that? Uh, that's my great grandfather started to uh, settle in Ventura County in 1880 and uh, was a farmer back then and and uh, my grandfather was a farmer my dad was a farmer and and uh, now my brother and I are partners in a large farming operation uh, throughout California how many acres did they buy in Camarillo I think it was around 320 when they first started here and and how many acres do you have now uh, we, we have about 20,000 acres of vegetables in California that we uh, produce crops on. What a wonderful story, going from 320 acres to 20,000. And it, you're, I think your grandfather, great-grandfather, would be really proud of you. Uh, I think they'd be overwhelmed and surprised exactly what we're doing right now. Because it's not a farm anymore, it's a big ag business. And uh, it's still a family farm because we are partners and have a lot of great people working for us to... Uh, uh, manage and, and make us uh, successful in that business. But you're still very passionate about farming and agriculture. Uh, that's my favorite place to be is on a farm and uh, see the different vegetable crops growing. And um, what was one of your fondest memories as a young man associated with the farm? Uh, being able to go to work with my dad and ever since I was a little kid uh, uh, growing up I always wanted to be like my father and be a farmer and uh, never knew really uh, any other, uh, never had a passion for any other business other than being a farmer. Yeah. I can understand, I grew up on a farm and my dad would be really proud of what I'm doing right now. And what crops do you grow? It's quite obvious you grow onions, but what variety of onions? Well, we grow red and yellow uh, uh, varieties of onions and there's many different varieties, but uh, we grow in several geographic regions of California, Imperial Valley, uh, San Joaquin Valley and, and then uh, Salinas Valley in Monterey County. And then we also grow uh, celery, cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, all the different lettuces, spring mix, and those are our staple crops in our, in our uh, organization, real farms. Right. Cel celery is one of the top crops of Ventura County. Yeah, it is. Uh, and it's actually, uh, you know, we grow it probably, uh, well, we do grow for about 10 months of the year here in the county, and then we grow cabbage uh, 12 months of the year here in Ventura County. What is the mission of Gill's Onions? Well, the mission of Gill's Onions is uh, to be the supplier of uh, fresh cut onions and be the best supplier with high quality and uh, uh, of onions and uh, to do the best job we can. And it is important to buy local, and we all understand why. When, when talking about agriculture, it's good to buy local, but you send your onions all over the globe. Well, we uh, go to Canada is our only export, but uh, we ship nationwide to every state in the Union. And uh, so we consider ourselves local to the, to the United States because all the vegetables are produced in California, most of them, and uh, we do it on a year-round basis. Can you tell us about your zero waste strategy? Well, zero waste strategy is, uh, the biggest part of it is taking the onion waste that we have uh, that comes out of our facility and we turn it into electricity. And it's through an anaerobic digester and fuel cells that we do this with. And uh, um, we, we mon measure and monitor all the, the inputs that go to the plant for packaging materials and, and try and uh, account for everything that we have and how we can recycle as much as we can and we're at in the 98 percent uh, bracket for doing that 98 percent i'll never forget the first time i came here and you were very gracious with me and you gave me a tour and you told me that you could not sleep at night when you uh the, with the realization of all the waste that you were producing and now you're 98 percent waste free it must feel really wonderful yeah, it was a big uh, stress for the facility because uh, hauling the waste to the fields uh, was causing us too many problems in the field, and it was just actually too much waste. Now we don't 
didn't take any waste to the field, uh, the onion skins. It's all uh, turned into electricity or cattle feed. And how many pounds of waste are we talking about? Uh, up to 300,000 pounds a day. So. 300,000 pounds a day of waste that's not being accumulated. And that goes into your biodigester? Biodigester, and it's uh, actually 75% uh, is goes into the biodigester because we extract the juice out of the waste. And then the, the, the press cake goes to dairies in Bakersfield, and then the juice goes through the digester and convert it into methane gas. The methane gas is then converted into electricity through a hydrogen fuel cell. Okay. That is, that's really what sustainability is all about. You just don't talk the talk, you walk the walk. And so the hydrogen fuel cells, now um, how much electricity, if we were talking about homes, how much electricity would these hydrogen fuel cells be able to, um, for energy for homes? Well, it's uh, 600 kilowatts of power uh, that we produce, and that's equivalent to 460 homes in California. 400. You, what you supply in energy could supply 460 homes. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, and then we use all the electricity in the plant because we are a large consumer of electricity in, in, the, in the processing operation that kills onions. So you use 100% of the electricity that you produce, and is that 100% of your electrical needs? No, it's about 30% 30, 30 of what our electrical needs are here at the facility. That's still, that's still wonderful. Any plans for um, more sustainability in the future? Well, we're looking at uh, extracting some of the polyphenols in the onions, and there's other things that we can do. Um, we're just uh, monitoring all our crops that we grow to have more accountability so we can report our inputs uh, to the and keep track of them so that environmentally we can um, uh, to help avoid new regulations by having people understand what we do with fertilizer, pesticides, seed, water, and um, so those are uh, ongoing projects that we do have here. I know that it is still a family business and I know your daughter Nikki works very close with, with you and I know that sustainability is also very important to her since she is the sustainability director and we're, we will be doing more sustainable ag education here as well. I know that education is important to both you and Nikki. Anything you want to pass on to the students of Ventura County? Well, uh, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to uh, put on projects like this because it uh, gives the community an awareness of who we are. And since we're a real small, farmers are a very small percentage of the population compared to the 40s and 50s when we were probably 50% of the population. So we're a real super minority uh, and it's uh, good to under, have people understand what we do because we touch their lives every day with food. Exactly. We, we all don't think that we're connected to ca agriculture, but we all eat. So we all are connected to agriculture. And it is important that everyone knows their local farmers and where their food is, is coming from. So thank you so much, Steve, for being here today. And thank you.